I hope everyone had a fun, safe holiday and a great start to the new year. During the break, I had a subscriber request a video about how to lock the bootloader of the Samsung Galaxy S22 smartphone. Unlocking the bootloader is one of the first things that I do with a smartphone, but there are some instances where we might actually want to relock it. If you ever plan to sell, trade, or give away your smartphone or tablet, then one thing you should do is making sure that the bootloader is locked. It just isn't recommended to use an unlocked device that was previously used by somebody else. If the bootloader is unlocked, you never know what has been installed on it. So if you plan on getting rid of your Samsung Galaxy S22, or maybe you just purchased a used one, make sure that the bootloader is locked. We can check to see if the bootloader is locked or not by enabling developer mode and then diving into the developer options menu. If you're not familiar with how this is done, be sure to check the video description below as I'll have a link to a dedicated tutorial that shows you all of the steps involved. While we are in developer options, you should see a OEM unlocking toggle. And if this is grayed out and the text reads that the bootloader is already unlocked, then that means that the bootloader is unlocked and that you will need to follow this guide to relock the Galaxy S22 bootloader. It should also be noted that the video will also work on the Galaxy S22 Plus and the Galaxy S22 Ultra as well. Before we begin, I have to give a warning to anyone who has rooted their phone in the past. If you have any unauthorized code left behind by root apps or root mods on the device that were installed, then you must return the device back to 100% stock Android before relocking the bootloader. If you fail to do this and you still have some third party code left behind in the Android file system, then locking the bootloader could cause the device to not boot back into Android. In some cases, performing a simple factory data reset is not going to be enough. It is always recommended to use Odin to flash a fresh version of Android on the device and to let Odin erase all of the data from the device when doing so. For those who are not familiar with how to flash a fresh version of Android using Odin, then again, I recommend checking the video description below as I'll have a link to a video that I've done in the past that shows you exactly the steps involved. When you are sure that you're ready to proceed, we begin this process by booting the Galaxy S22 into download mode. This is another thing that I've previously done a video about, so if you don't know how to access this special boot mode, then again, look for that link in the video description as well. Once we have booted into download mode, we can remove the USB cable and begin this process by performing a long press on the volume up button as suggested by the text on the screen. Now we can tell the Galaxy S22 Plus that we want to relock the bootloader by pressing the volume up button once. You're going to see the device reboot 
and then erase all of our included apps and games that are installed. It's going to erase all of your photos and videos, as well as your accounts and device settings. Everything will be deleted as part of Android's security protection when it comes to toggling the state of the bootloader. So if you need to back anything up ahead of time, then cancel out of that screen and go back up your important data. The smartphone will reboot one last time, and this time it will boot you back into the Android operating system. The process could take a little bit longer than normal on your first boot back into Android, since everything has been erased and the device has to set things back up. This is to be expected, and you should be brought back to the Android activation screen. I'll go ahead and skip through all of this so we can get back to the home screen. Now that we are back into the Android operating system, we have one last step to complete. The OEM unlocking toggle is still going to be enabled, even though the bootloader is technically locked again. For this to show up in the developer options menu, we first need to connect the, the device to a network. This can either be done via Wi-Fi or a mobile data connection. And once that's done, we can go into the settings and check for a new software update by tapping on the download and install option right there. Once that is done, you will then need to wait a few minutes for the system to show that toggle. You may also notice that rebooting the phone helps to trigger this switch. So once we have waited, we can then enable developer mode again and then dive into the settings application, look in the developer options menu, and find that OEM unlocking toggle. We can fully secure this smartphone by toggling this feature off and then restarting the phone like normal. This boot back into Android is going to be a lot quicker than after we had relocked the bootloader since we have not erased anything from the device. And now that we have relocked the Galaxy S22 bootloader, we are safe to sell the device, trade it, give it away to a friend or just continue using it and be assured that the bootloader is indeed locked and secured.